Not all data deletion is equal. When sensitive data must vanish forever, sanitization is key. Today, we'll explore how to destroy data beyond recovery and why simply deleting isn't enough. Here's the problem. Meet data remnants. That's the techie term for traces of deleted data lingering on your storage media. Think of it like ghost files hiding in the corners of your hard drive or magnetic residue left behind. Even when you delete something, fragments can stick around, and forensic tools like file carving can actually rebuild those files from raw fragments. So what can you do? Let's look at the options, from weakest to strongest. First, erasing. This is basic deletion, sending files to the recycle bin or trash. Easy, but the remnants are still there, and anyone with simple tools can recover them. This is low security. Next, clearing. Here, you overwrite data once or twice. It's better than just deleting, but specialized recovery tools can still grab pieces that weren't fully overwritten. So, medium security. Now, purging. This is where things get serious. You overwrite the data multiple times and sometimes use a process called degaussing, blasting magnetic storage like tapes or hard drives with powerful magnets to scramble the bits. But keep in mind, this doesn't work on SSDs or optical disks. It's high security, but still not enough for the most sensitive data. Finally, destruction the gold standard. This means physically shredding, burning, or pulverizing drives until nothing's left. Or you can use cryptographic erasure, encrypted data, then destroy the key, which is perfect for cloud storage or top secret files. When you do this right, there's zero recovery path. So when should you use each method? It all comes down to how sensitive your data is. If it's low sensitivity, clearing might be enough high sensitivity, you'll want to purge or destroy. For cloud data, cryptographic erasure is your best friend. Remember, true data destruction leaves no ghosts. For compliance, always verify with standards like NIST 800-88. When data must die, make sure it stays dead.